relationships is not what you make happy. It's not something that you truly make happy. Actually, relationships can make you on some parts actually not happy. If you've been in a relationship only because your social structure and your social life and the people where you hang around have that. You have sometimes also been true to yourself. Is it actually something that you want? Or is it something that is made up by your friends? Is it something that you actually truly want? Or is it something that is made to pass society? Maybe to oppress you. Maybe because society wants up more drugs. For example, we have more than enough humans on this planet. So, creating more humans is that actually something that you have to do? Or is it something that you don't have to do? If you don't want to have children, don't let your parents force you to have children because they want to have, children, have grandchildren. For example, if you don't want to have a relationship with somebody, just not something bad. I myself also want not to have a relationship. I don't also view myself not attracted to somebody else. I don't feel my attractive to man or woman. No, nothing of that. And I'll be proud of how I be. I fuck all the other people. Don't care. I do what I want and I don't hurt you with it. So accept those on me. And for example, to be clear, I harmed you less than you me. So where is your standpoint? For me to do something that I don't want only because you in our society wants that I do is another bit a little bit selfish. With one and two seconds stop a children from starvation with people that do drugs, heroin because they be not happy. The eleven street children they been kicked out by their parents. Not always is it because the children is bad. Sometimes the parents be also bad. They be not a good role model. Or they mean weak. But just not something bad. They been weak and have to groom friends. Or something like that. They have not the power to stand up for themselves. That becomes they're being more oppressed. How more times you're being put down, the most times, also, who more power it costs to stand up for where you believe in. So, give it to you. You have also to remember that. That it be not so bad, but any day you have a chance to stand up, make it play, go further with your life, and or if something is not rational anymore, and you do it only because your cult, your cult, say that it's normal, then it become time that you become to learn to think for yourself. And not because what the society told you, because money or something like that. Money make you not happy. You can be the richest person on the whole planet and be still sad and be not happy. And you can be so poor if possible and you could be ha more happier than the most richest person on the whole planet. There's so much love spread by society. Actually. 
my notes. So this is one of the times. Oh, yeah, so that can say it if you But look to see, if you know the history of Little Bit, and so I like to do. Politics have been the most biggest troublemakers, just like bankers. And they get more money than most other people. And they do absolutely nothing. Nothing but they've been prized first of all. Anybody that is not psychopathic, or maybe is psychopathic, but then shall we look to it, can do what they do. You can do it as well if you, if you want to hang around with egocentric people with a bigger ego than a Mount Earthbrush. But now let me be, go back to the topic. Relationships make you not happy. The only thing in a relationship is, you know, is that you feel loved by somebody else. But just a very love is that one power the drop on about or my lover. If I don't understand and misrecognize this, love is not power or love is also not lost. Love is far deeper than that. And so you don't can make love with somebody. What a stupid play of talking. Of people. Mm -hmm. And actually, love is the um, the emotional attachment to something that you have the power to put yourself out to this to make the other happy. In most relationships I don't in, cl in clear easy talk. Um, if I look to most relationships of people I only see one or the other to take more out of the situation not the other. Sometimes it's been woman, sometimes it's been man. And that's not what I consider to love each other. If you love your loved one, you give the same amount back that you can, that you get. If you don't do that, you'll be in a parasitic relationship with somebody. And if you ask me, you can, therefore, you can also better be in a, your own, a little bit of friends, and all that sexual things. Maybe you think that they're being nice and to laugh and kind of things, but just actually on your only your hormones. Without that steroids the human body, your weak human body produce I did feel not fine. You make dope you know but that is also a thing that you make up, your body make by exercising, by biking, by running. The same ones that you make up, that you only make by that low intelligence thing, like such, throw on things. But you also want to be running. And then you don't can be pregnant. So stop with, with doing the monkey game. The monkey game is only to make more children. There being not so much actually more children that we have to make. We have more than enough humans on this planet. Humans been over on the planet. Humans, we need no more humans, not more humans that destroy our planet. That produce bigger 
footprints on the planet. Yes, we need more uh, wheels that be more important for the planet. We need more dolphins, more sharks that be more important for the planet. If you don't understand that, watch a little bit of she shoppers you know, and their stuff. And maybe you'll understand what I talk about. Human beings, therefore, only take and take and take and take a little bit more of the planet to produce things that they like to have. There are only an unlimited amount of space for humans on this planet. As long as humans don't live in harmony with the planet and with the ecosystem. We don't have space for an unlimited amount of humans. That's something that the society wants. Actually, the society wants that you have more children. So that they can work more for you. So that the society have more robots that they can force to do what they want. And if you follow the news, even closely, you see that any year, the list of freedoms that we get becomes last and last. Last and last, we have to pay more taxes. More and more and more for the societies to stay in life. And, uh, Rich people get still the large bonuses. And they don't want to give anything back. Is it not? Why do we have to think about this, man? We have to now to think about this. The society wanted you have more children. Stand for the society give you taxes for your children. Their goal put you on this system. You don't can live your life the way you want. Only the way your society wants it. Your society is not Hide and God, and your rules protect only money. Look a little bit in the rules of your states. Look um, on the rules for attacking life and attacking property. You get higher bounties for destroying somebody else's property than you get for. Are taking other life forms. We have the same insane system. Our system is corrupt, any system is corrupt. We take, we take any time, any year, more and more of your freedom away. To the day that comes that you have absolutely nothing anymore. And then, my guests, that take more from you, and more, and more, and more. To the point that there be nothing more to take, but the cost of wood have no limited, have not a limited imaginary amount of resources. The wood have only a limited amount of resources, my guests. And if we don't learn to live in Harmony with the world, with the rules of interpret and on other species, and the rules of the charts of nature, and put these rules behind the corporate laws that protect property and protect the money system and protect companies. And then we have another rule. Um, long life and more on this planet if we don't learn to respect their independent laws of the, the independent laws of nature though animals can live easily without us 
But the way you don't can live without sharks, we don't can live without dolphins, we don't can live without protoplankton, we don't can live without bees, we don't can live without ants, we don't can live without the animals. No. But I can easily live without us, because we polluted the sea, we polluted the sky, we polluting the land, we animal agriculture, that's the main cost of this all. So if you become vegan, that's 99, most likely 99% of the problem. Then we have only a little bit of other organizations like the oil industry and the other industries that have been dirty as hell. And then we can stop it. We can give any living being the way they want to live. I hope that you like this video. Give this a thumbs up if you like it. If you have questions, put them in the description below. If you have a question, why I talk with an British accent, put it also in the description below. I like to answer that. If you'd like more video about relationships, veganism, and a little bit about the climate and the ecosystem, and you want to maybe to know what the laws are independent on other animals. Another species being, and the laws of the the world's charter for nature, some of the most important laws that be, have to be forced on any country. Put it all in the description below, and I hope that you have a nice day, and I hope that you like my red hair, and I hope you, that you like my cool accent and I see you next time. Forget not to subscribe to my Instagram, my YouTube YouTube, my Twitter and my YouTube and I see you in the next time. When darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away and the true become visible.